Alrighty, folks. So, uh, today is April the 10th. And, uh, I give you that date for a specific reason. Uh, I'm planning on uploading this video immediately after I, uh, uh, get it done here. And if I have to do any editing, but I shouldn't. I'm gonna try to shoot this straight video here. So, anyway, uh, so this video, the title is gonna be plant or not to plant <laughs> so uh i'm kind of I'm, I'm ready to go uh but the weather is and the forecast is throwing some wrenches here in in things that uh i currently uh don't know what to do oh uh, so anyway oh uh, so let me outline everything maybe a few y'all that have some expertise can say yay or nay on what i should do some advice just keep in mind i'm in north alabama north central alabama uh the rest of y'all are spread out all over the country maybe the world so these things differ <laughs> uh so here's here's the situation oh uh, we had a rain a couple nights ago uh we had dried out before that a good bit i was actually to the point of worried about getting uh my depth I needed without a lot of down pressure, but I knew I could achieve it. Uh, but we got a rain, so that softened things up a little bit. But the field is not going to be muddy or tacky. Uh, I could plant today. I, and I was yesterday, I was actually shooting for today, but I have decided to wait another day uh, as of right now. So uh, the so that rain came so tomorrow will be about three days after that rain and it's it's cooler and it's been breezy so things have dried out again you know i think the soil condition in the field that i'm be planting in uh will be fine will be perfect but here's the uh issues with the forecast that that are bothering me so uh so today you, know, you say i got a jacket on here uh the high is 58 uh we've had some we've had a little cold snap come through tonight they are forecasting a low of 36 in areas of frost i thought we were done um a couple weeks ago we had a frost i scraped frost off the windshield of my vehicle one morning but then we've been very mild temperatures uh, mid 70s touching 80s very mild nights but we've had this little cold snap occur and it's going to warm back up in the next couple days and then we're going to have another cold snap uh going into next week so let me outline this uh and i'm trying to decide what i'm what i'm going to do whether i plan or whether i wait now keep in mind the person i've been talking to and getting advice on uh through the co-op for planting the corn said i didn't really need to plan any later than april 15th so today's the 10th so that's next wednesday all right, so there's that bit of information. Uh, so I, I wait till tomorrow. Say I plant tomorrow. Here's the scenario. Uh, highs are supposed to be back up into uh, the 60s tomorrow, mid-60s, I think. And uh, so soil temperature is one of the things I'm looking at here. Uh, yesterday said our soil temperatures were about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is perfect for the corn. Uh, but today the soil temperature forecast for this area was predicted to be like 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so with this cooler weather, it's cooling it off. Tomorrow it's going to go back up. I think Sunday it's going to be back up around the 60 mark or above 60 for the soil temperature. Uh, the outside temperatures will be warmer, obviously. Uh, but then it's going to be cool next week. Uh, we've got highs in the upper 50s barely touching 60s we got lows at night in the upper 30s like 38 39 right around 40 degrees and i watched the soil temperature forecast for the area and it has the soil temperature dropping a little bit every day so we're going to go from that 60 degree mark all the way down to a lower lower 50 degree soil temperature mark by the end of next week um and uh I can't, that's as far as I can see right now. Uh, so my dilemma is if I plant tomorrow, uh, and they're forecasting good rains, 
Saturday night into Sunday. I can't tell how much yet. They did say heavy rains. Uh, the field is not a field that floods or stands in water, so I'm not worried about that. It's a very good draining field. Matter of fact, it's probably one of the dry, driest fields I've been in this year. It's part of the reason why I chose it for the corn, because I knew I could get in there early and get it planted. Problem is, if I plant, um, the soil temperature is going to be about right. I'm going to get that warm rain. I think it'll be a warm rain. And then it's going to turn cool for about five, at least five days. So that means the soil temperature, instead of staying where it needs to be, is going to be getting colder each day. My worry about that is, is uh, I know this seed's going to probably germinate pretty quick. So what is that sprout going to do coming up? Uh, as it faces the colder soil temperature. So, you know, I'm trying to do, it's just this is this one field I'm doing, and I want to get it right as I can. So do I go ahead tomorrow and get it in while I can get it in, or do I wait? And the problem with waiting is I'm going to have another rain, so I've got to wait for it to dry out again. Uh, there's a chance of rain middle of next week, very small that I can see. So there's another delay that could be. So we're looking at another week from now before I might can get back in there and have the temperatures I need again, uh, which is going to be putting me closer to, say, the 20th of April, uh, which may not be a big deal, but uh, like I said, it's just one of those things I don't know what to do. Do I plant or not plant? Oh. Uh, now, you know, I've, I've tried to research some things online. I've, it's just it, 50 one way, 50 other. Uh, it, it's just hard for me to, to say. Uh, but I'm kind of itching to get it in the ground. I just don't want to get ahead of myself here and, and do the corn more harm than good. I, you know, I've spent all the money on the planter and all this preparation on it and everything, uh, which there's more videos going to be coming of it. But... You know, I want to get a good even emergence, and uh, I don't want to mess that up with this forecast that's coming. But I also don't want to delay things because, you know, there's all this talk of planting early, you know, equaling bigger yields. So I'm trying to do the right thing, and I don't know what that is right now. But uh, anyway, uh, all that said, uh, I was, my fertilizer is already out, so let me go ahead and note that. Um, Fertilizer was put out on Tuesday, so today is Friday. Excuse me. So it's been out a few days. It's sitting there already. Uh, I've got 80 units of dry ammonia nitrate out there, so I don't know what I'm losing of it per day, too, right now. So the longer I wait, I think the more of that I'm losing. So that, that's another thing. I had kind of put myself into the prime position to be planning today or tomorrow. I've just got this little blip in the forecast that is now a concern. So, uh, anyway, like I said, I'm learning. Uh, a lot of stuff I'm learning here, so uh, maybe I'm making too big a deal out of it. I don't know. Maybe it, the cold temp ain't that big a deal. I should just go ahead and plant and see what happens, but I don't know. I'm trying to do the best thing here. But, uh, anyway, uh, I got my co or got my fertilizer out, and... Uh, I uh, took a buggy back on Wednesday, and uh, like I said, we've been having a lot of warmer weather, and uh, I'd say two-thirds, if not more, of what I could tell, this is just my estimate, of corn had already been planted in a lot of the larger row crop areas uh, north of here, about 45 minutes north of here, so uh, a lot of people are already preparing ground, uh, at least burn downs and stuff for beans coming up you know, in a few weeks, but um, a lot of the corn's already in the ground. Uh, so they're going to be facing this issue too, just in another angle. They've already planted, so it is what it is for them now. Uh, and if anything's emerged, uh, they've got a frost. They're looking at a frost coming up. If not once, maybe twice, because uh, like I said, they've got some 30s for next week. So anyway, that's kind of the ordeal. That's kind of where I'm sitting. Oh, so I'm going to get this video out there so people can watch it because I want to see what the feedback is so I have some time to make a decision between uh, right now, which is uh, April the 10th, Friday morning, and tomorrow, which will be Saturday, 
uh, if I'm gonna put this stuff in the ground or not, uh, so, uh, or wait. Uh, I think the, the thing on waiting is more or less time and losing my loss of fertilize. It's not, you know, I don't know how much of that I'm losing, but uh, it was ammonia nitrate. Um, but the other thing is the time factor. Uh, you know, will planting just a few days later affect my yield that much? I don't know. The other thing is if I wait and plant, uh, you know, I've got to fertilize this corn again uh, and spray again. And it's going to push that time frame into right dead middle of me trying to do beans, plant beans, and starting hay. So several things start butting heads at one point in time. So that's the other thing. I was hoping to get it in early so I could get some things out of the way with the corn before other things hit me. And I'm not trying to do three things at once. So uh, that's kind of the situation. Uh, if I was more than a one-man show, I would, you know, I could uh, could manage that. But anyway, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. That's the ordeal. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Plant or not plant, or wait, or what your thoughts are. Uh, please comment per your expertise. If you have no experience in corn and don't really know what you're saying, please don't comment. <laughs> but uh, if you you are a seasoned farmer and and have experience in it and kind of have a good good angle of advice to give me i would appreciate it anyway thanks for watching see you